Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you're going to install ControlNet with automatic web UI on Stable Diffusion 1.5. So this assumes that you've already got Stable Diffusion 1.5 installed. So the first thing is there's going to be links in the description of this video and in the article where I'm posting this. First thing you go to is Miku Bill's SD Web UI Control Net. Copy the URL. Go to the Extensions tab. Install from URL. Copy it in there and hit Install. It's going to say it's already installed because technically I've already got it. So after it completes, it'll say completed at the bottom here. And then we're going to go to Installed. Uh, then you're going to do Apply and Restart. You don't need to select it because you just installed it. And then if you go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI here, and you go down to Extensions, you will see SD Web UI Control Net. Now there's something else that we're going to need here. Quickly, I'll show you how to do that. You can come over to the Alleys page. I'm going to have a link for this as well. Download, click the next one, download, and so on through all the different models. Open Pose is the one you want for the Open Pose, which is what we're going to cover. And then download, right? We're going to get all of them. If you come back over to the Control Net and then into Models, so I'm just going to take these ones I already downloaded or cut and paste, whatever. I know I did that quite quickly, but just to recap, so we went to the Extensions tab, we went to Install from URL, we used the URL from the GitHub, and then we shove that in here, we click Install. Once it's completed, you'll come to Install and Apply and Restart. You're going to want to have these, and you get them from this model page, all right? And then in a second, I'll show you how that's actually going to work for you. There's also the Open Pose Editor, which I do recommend. Same process. You hit Control C, copy the URL, go to the extensions, go to Install from URL, paste it in, click Install. I've already done it. Go to Install. There it is, Open Pose Editor. All right. Now, I've already got it, so you would hit Apply and Restart if you've just installed it. Open Pose Editor is here. As you can see, we can move stuff around. All right. Also, you can change this up to 2048. So you want to do like super widescreen stuff and have just like a person with a big old background. You can do whatever you want. All right. You can have 2048 here as well. And don't forget, if you wanted, you could have a second guy, got like a shootout type situation going on now. I think you can see where I'm going with that. Right. So it's really simple. Um, you know, now we can save that PNG actually. Um, you can save the JSONs and then you can load the JSONs. So, for example, some of the ones I'm giving out, they actually have multiple people, all right, so that you can reposition them. Got three here, so obviously you'd make the canvas bigger, move them around, repose them, add another guy. Um, and there are now hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of poses up on Civit now. So it's very easy to just download a shitload of these and then customize away for whatever it is you want to do with them. But getting back to the actual usage, okay? And open and also open pose is just one of many components in control net. I'm not going to cover them all. Experiment. There's other tutorials out there. I just wanted to show you how to get up and running. So if we now go back to text to image and you can use image to image, but we're going to look at text to image. It's still here down at the bottom. There's your control net there. So if we go to text to image we can put in uh, a woman standing. We've got a 1.5 model. At the moment, it only supports 1.5, but hopefully it will support 2.1 in future. But that is up to the author. I'm just going to quickly change it to a quick sampler. I don't need to do anything else. Go here. Select open pose. I'm going to throw in that and hit, hit enable. That's all you need to do. Select one of the pre-trained. Hit enable. And go. And it's using our pre-trained model there. Seems to have ignored the other person, but that's okay. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to do that. Now, obviously, if you've got like a specific model you want to use, like we could use Dream Shaper for this one. So we'll just wait for this uh, to load up. There we go. And hit that. Two people. I think maybe because I didn't say, maybe if I say two women, say it's not picking it up, make it bigger. And we'll go in here. And we're coming to the end of this tutorial now, okay? Because I've pretty much showed you how to get it set up and how to use it. Like I said, roll back the video and watch it again if you need to uh, figure out what the hell I was going on about. We did go pretty quick. But essentially, it's... You've also learned how to install any extension. Most extensions install in the same way. The uh, pre-trained models are going to be very useful for you. And I showed you where to put them, okay? They go into the extensions, control net, 
models folder and like i said you can you can download those from civet ai um you can make your own as well the instructions are actually uh, shown on this github page of how to make them so here we have the extraction extraction methods here all right so if you wanted to do it yourself you can do it yourself you don't need to download anything it's just saving you a bit of time there we go it's actually picking up both figures now all right now obviously if i added a bit more so i could add like i don't know scenario using the dynamic prompts i've got a bunch of text files and one of them is called scenario it's just got a bunch of scenarios you could also enhance the image with uh i don't know danger hawk in fact danger mouse is probably the one i want to go 1.5 with so i'm up weighting the negative to make it more powerful there and bearing in mind this is just a 512 gen it's not upscaled or anything so there we go we've got <laughs> perspective is always a bit of a challenge that is how you install the control net and how you use the open pose there are obviously many different features here if we take a look here we can see this is canny this is the depth this is hed and also while we're on the subject what you can do settings and control net and it says here multi control net models now you could have two or up to ten let's show you three all right so we'll go apply and then we'll restart now bear in mind restarting this doesn't actually do it you have to stop it and start it again okay and then when it's started restart the web ui and then what will happen is because we put it on three you'll now have three sections for your control net so it'll literally go through each of them in turn so you can use different control net modules one two three i'm not going to show you how i'm just going to show you how you set it up because you have to mess around with that yourself. You've got to have your own sort of design and your own plan and you need assets to put in them all. I haven't got those to show you right now. I'm just literally trying to help people to set up open pose. So this was the short version of the video. All right. The long version of the video will show me and a friend going through a bunch of open poses, editing the poses, changing the prompts, using different negatives and different models to try and get different effects out of a LoRa stack. So that'll be a model with like three LoRas on top and then balancing them all out. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description of this video for the long version, which has got a lot more detail and we have a bit of fun messing around with that workflow. So if you're into this, it's probably going to have a bunch of interesting techniques and tricks for you. But uh, this will be the short version, so thank you very much. Uh, before I disappear, I'll just show you this now. So restart that. Now if I come down to here, you'll notice that we've got one, two three or rather zero because we always start an array at zero now remember you always gotta put enable and pick from the list now obviously your mileage may vary so it's up to you how you use this but you know you could do something like canny then you could do something like uh open pose then you could do something like depth okay and then it's going to basically do it's going to go zero one two and you can have up to ten so just make sure you hit enable in every single one and make sure you actually drop something in there and that will now work when you hit when you put your prompt in it's going to do its best to use canny for the first image you put in there so it'll probably make uh if you put something like this in it's going to try and make something like this and then open pose so then it's going to see the skeleton it's going to try and do that you might have to do that one first actually and then finally depth and that's going to give it like you know there you go but like i said that's complicated it's advanced use you got to figure that out so thanks for watching and uh the long version is in the description so anyway i'll see you in the next one